Hello and welcome to another episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith. And today I want to talk about Island of the Forbidden by Hunter Shea. It's another Sam Hain book. Uh, this is brand new. Still has that new book smell. Uh, today, as I record this, is February 3rd, I believe. And this just came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it's fresh and new. And I wanted to get it read and reviewed. Um, yep, it does say 2015, so it came out in January. Uh, Island of the Forbidden. Uh, and what you've got here with this book is the return of Jessica Backman. Uh, she was the star of Hunter Shea's book, Sinister Entity. Um, now, you don't have to have read that to read and enjoy this. But you should, because you should read everything that Hunter Shea's done. Um, but you don't have to. Uh, so, Jessica Backman. Um, after the events of Sinister Entity, she has gone into early retirement. She's only 22 years old. Um, but uh, after what happened in the previous book, she decided to call it quits. She's got uh, psychic abilities, or supernatural abilities. Um, and she's, uh, used to be sort of a psychic investigator, but she doesn't want to do that anymore. Well, her friend Eddie, also from Sinister Entity, uh, calls her up and he's able to pull her back into that world. And the reason is because of a place called Ormsby Island, um, the Island of the Forbidden of the title, uh, this strange couple, uh, Toby and Daphne Harper, uh, they've bought Ormsby House, and they've moved in there with their two children, Jason and Alice, and uh, the island is very, very haunted. And Eddie uh, sort of uses the, the, um, uh, the fact that there are kids on this island and they could be in danger. Um, uses that to lure Jessica back in uh, because neither one of them wants to see kids get hurt. Who wants to see kids get hurt? Nobody does. So Jessica and Eddie go out to Ormsby Island and uh, to help the kids, uh, Jason and Alice, and to help the sort of restless spirits that are on the island. Uh, but everything isn't as it seems, of course. Uh, there's other people there. There's uh, Daphne's brother Paul, who's sort of a nanny for the kids, but he's got some mysterious stuff going on. A couple other guys show up. Uh, Mitch and Rusty, another psychic, Nina D'Arcangela. Not sure how you would pronounce her name. Uh, she shows up, and uh, everybody's sort of got their own agenda. And um, it stores, stir. Excuse me, stirs the pot, everybody being there. Um, you know, and as I said, Jessica and Eddie basically just want to help the kids, help the spirits, uh, but everything isn't as it seems. So there's your basic plot. <laughs> and uh, uh, when I was reading this, when I started, especially early on, uh, I, I thought of a couple of things uh, which were. Uh, the Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, and Hell House by Richard Matheson. And uh, The Haunting of Hill House, of course, has been made into the movie The Haunting, which was made twice. I prefer the old black-and-white version. Uh, I think it's a very creepy, chilling movie. Uh, the remake just didn't have the same feel to it, relied too much on special effects, CGI, and big name actors, eh, not a fan. Um, but that and uh, Hell House, which was also made into a movie, um, was just called Hell House. I'm not sure about the title. Uh, but I thought of both of these stories while I was reading this uh, because they all sort of have that here's the haunted place. We're going to throw some people with. Uh, psychic or supernatural powers in, and that sort of lights the, the powder keg. Um, the people are the match that sort of set things off. 
Uh, and this book has that same feel that those two stories did. Uh, but it's, it's a more modern tale, and it also has uh, the uh, feel of uh, this whole slew of, of uh, paranormal shows that are on TV, uh, Ghost Hunters being the most famous. I don't watch these shows, so that's the only one I can name. But I know there's a bunch of them out there if I thought about it. Um, I could probably name a few more because I know I've, I've come across them. I've heard of them. I just don't watch them. But there's some of that in here as well. Um, but it's... Uh, the tale's not derivative. It's a good story. Hunter Shea writes great characters. Uh, they're, all, they're all interesting. Um, even the kids. I think sometimes some people might have trouble writing children. Uh, but I think Hunter Shea does a good job here. Uh, the kids are interesting. Um, Jessica and Eddie, great characters. It's good to see that the changes they've gone through since uh, the events of Sinister Entity. Uh, they haven't stayed stagnant. You know, they've they've grown. They've changed. Um, and uh, Toby and Daphne, uh, everybody, pretty much, pretty interesting. Um, which is, as I, I say in almost every review, character is very important. And uh, Hunter does a very good job with his characters. Uh, I like his writing style. And he, he switches styles from book to book, which is, is uh, uh, very good. You don't always see that with authors. But, uh, like, the Montauk Monster, which I've reviewed, um, it's pretty much a straightforward creature feature people fighting monsters, monsters killing people kind of action and gore book. Um, Hell Hole is his horror western. And it's almost incorporates two kind of uh, two different feelings because it has its real creepy, chilling parts and then it gets into some craziness towards the end. Uh, and then this one is just very, very chilling, very creepy. Um... I mean, it's, it's at its heart a ghost story, uh, ghosts story, um, and, uh, he, um, <clears throat> he pulls it off, you know, he, again, he can, uh, he can switch gears between books, and there's no real crossover feel to it, except for maybe Hellhole, because it encompasses some different things, but, I mean, this feels completely different than, uh, the Montauk Monster, or uh, Evil Eternal, uh, which is a completely different kind of story. Um, <clears throat> so that's a that's a that's a good skill. Now, like I said, not everybody has it. There are authors whose uh, books um, have the same kind of feel. And I mentioned in another review, there's a couple authors in particular who I won't mention who, to me, their books just all seem exactly the same. Um, or did, at least, because I stopped reading those particular authors because they all sounded, or all seemed exactly the same. But so far, Hunter has, uh, everything's been fresh and new. And I'm looking forward to what he does next. Uh, I enjoyed this enough that I decided to bring back a feature that nobody has asked me to bring back. And that is Low Budget Review Show Theater. <laughs> in which I act out a scene from the book using things that I have around the house. Um, so today, for this scene, playing Jessica Backman, we have Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy, and playing a ghost, we have a ghost. So here we go. Here's a scene from Island of the Forbidden. Are there any ghosts here? Oh, God, the ghost died. <gasps> Hello, ghost. If you tell me your name, I can send you home. Ooh. All right, Joe. You are free of this place. You can move on to the next phase of the afterlife. Ooh. And scene. Okay, that's not actually a scene in the book, although it's close. Uh, Jessica does uh, have the ability to send spirits uh, 
into the afterlife. I guess they're technically in the afterlife once they're dead, but, uh, you know, the ones that are trapped, she can send them on their way. <laughs> um, so there you have it, some low-budget review show theater with my lovely face in the background because I don't know how to make a blank screen. I could just hold something up, but then I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Anyway, that's there's that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. As again, um, Sam Hain is kind of hit and miss with their covers, in my opinion. Uh, things like Evil Never Dies and Evil Unleashed, uh, a couple of books uh, by Mick Ridgewell that I reviewed recently. I think they have great dynamic covers. Then you have this, and it's not horrible. I mean, it's got the island, or the, the mansion there. Um, but it's not that exciting. It's just kind of there. Maybe a little creepy. Uh, so this is a book you don't want to judge by its cover because the book is fantastic. The cover is meh. But the book is fantastic. But uh, yeah, Sam Hain there. Kind of hit and miss with their covers. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Island of Forbidden. Uh, just a very creepy, chilling... Uh, novel with great characters, great twists and turns. Uh, as I said, everybody kind of has their own agenda, and uh, he, uh, Hunter Shea, um, spaces out what's going on as far as the twists and turns go. It's not just, boom, here's what everybody has planned, um, which is good storytelling, you know? You don't want to give it all away. So I really enjoyed this. I would like to see uh, Jessica Backman come back again. Um, of course, I always look forward to whatever Hunter Shea has coming next. Um, so, uh, support Hunter Shea. Pick up this book, brand new. Read it before your friends do. Uh, check out his his blog. Check out his YouTube channel, uh, Monster Men. YouTube show, at least. I'll have to check and see if that's the name of the channel. Um... As always, I'll have a link for this in the description below, and uh, if I can find something, I'll maybe link to Monster Men. Um, it's a pretty entertaining show. Um, <clears throat> I think that covers what I wanted to say about this book. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier it's February 3rd, and February is uh, Women in Horror Month. So I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Um, you should be supporting women in horror. It's double-edged sword here. It's nice that there's a month set aside for women in horror, but, you know, it would be nice, nicer, if we didn't have to have a special month to promote women in horror, because you should be supporting them uh, all year long. Um, or at least uh, the good ones. Is that how I should put it? You know, uh, <laughs> um... You should be supporting good writers and good directors and good actors um, no matter what time of year it is, whether they're a man or a woman. Uh, but anyway, it is Women in Horror Month, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, so take this opportunity to support Women in Horror. Uh, there's uh, things like The Babadook, which is a movie that came out not long ago. I've heard great things about it. I've heard a few bad things. A couple people didn't like it. But mainly I've heard fantastic things. Um, it was written and directed by a woman whose name I do not remember. Or I would tell you, but I don't remember. But it's called The Babadook. Uh, you can look it up. Um, you have uh, women like the Soska Twins, uh, who are writers and directors. They did uh, Dead Hooker and Trunk, American Mary, um... Uh, they directed See No Evil 2. Uh, I believe their production company is called Twisted Twins Productions. Uh, so they do great stuff. So support them. Watch their movies. Um, as far as authors go, Sarah Pinborough, one of my favorite authors. Uh, I just picked up her latest uh, book, uh, at least the latest release in the United States. It's Murder, which is the follow-up to Mayhem, which I reviewed 
uh, previously. Just pick that up. Pick up anything by Sarah Pinbro. Um, Elizabeth Massey is another great author. Um, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so I'm not... I'm just drawing a blank here. Kind of looking around, but nothing's jumping out of me. Um, anyway... <laughs> You know how to use the internet. You can look up Women in Horror. Uh, look up the Women in Horror website. Uh, look up their Facebook page. Uh, they'll have a better idea of what you should be doing to support Women in Horror, because that's what they do. Uh, as opposed to me, who just sits here and talks about books, and then tries to do things off the top of his head without any planning, and it all goes awry, and it's horrible. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, February's Women in Horror Month. Please support Women in Horror. Um, and I think that covers it. I swear there was something else I was going to talk about. But now I can't remember. Um, it must be the cold. It's like one degree here, according to Weatherbug. That's why I have a hat on inside. It's chilly even in here. I'm trying to keep the heat in. Uh, so I believe that's it for this episode of the low budget review show Island of the Forbidden by Hunter Shea read it, read all his stuff uh, support women in horror oh, I know what I was going to do um, you know, I love to get comments but I don't get a lot so, I'm wondering uh, what it is people want to see uh, my last review was for Ak Ak Macaque, the Ak Ak Macaque trilogy it hasn't gotten a lot of hits uh, now I doubt people are looking up Ak Ak Macaque on YouTube, but I do have uh, a few subscribers. Doesn't seem like any of them are watching that. So, um, what is it you're looking for? Should I just review horror, or should I keep? I know I do mostly horror, but I've there's some other stuff in there. Of course, the most hits I've gotten on any of my videos have been for the Star Wars stuff I've reviewed and the Alien stuff I've reviewed. Um, Obviously, that's relatively popular. Um, but what is it you want to see? Do you want to see... Do uh, you want me to review stuff that I didn't like? Um, do you have any particular books you'd like my opinion on? Uh, if I get a lot of people to, to comment and, and ask about different books, just I'll compile a list and I'll make a video and just give a quick opinion of if I've read them uh, of the books. You know, maybe if I get 10 or 15 suggestions, uh, things that I've read. I'll do a video where I just, real quick, I'll let you know uh, if I liked it, what I liked about it, if I didn't like it, and why. Because um, I do read a lot of stuff, or at least start a lot of stuff that I, I don't enjoy. Um, and I used to be in the habit of forcing myself to finish something if I didn't like it. Uh, but when you've got a pile of about 200 books that you haven't read yet... Um, I, I learned if I haven't gotten into it within a certain amount of time, um, I'm going to put that book aside because I have way too much other stuff to read. But if you're interested, uh, you know, throw out some titles. I'll let you know what I thought. Um, so if you have any, uh, comments, questions, corrections, or suggestions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please support Women in Horror all year long. And I think that covers everything. So until next time, read more books.